There can be no security without development and no development without security. And neither can be sustained in the longer term without it being rooted in the rule of law and respect for human rights. Fundamental human rights are a product of human nature, indeed human life itself. In an interdependent world, poverty or oppression anywhere is a threat to prosperity and stability everywhere. Secretary Annan is, of course, the gold standard for international leadership on everything from human rights to non-proliferation to conflict mediation to development, humanitarian assistance, and peacekeeping. He injected a new energy into the United Nations just when that instrument needed it terribly. We are still reaping the rewards of the Millennium Summit when he brought the world together to agree the first global targets on poverty and child mortality. His response to the HIV-AIDS epidemic united governments, non-governmental organizations, and the healthcare industry, and undoubtedly saved many lives. The fight against HIV-AIDS is not only a test for our United Nations family, not only a test for the international community, it is a test for our common humanity. Africa needs courageous, persistent, and compassionate leaders who will tap into the continent's vitality to create a better future. We need true democratic leaders who understand that they are at the service of the citizens and not the other way around. Leaders must understand that they hold power in trust of the people and it can also be taken away. Kofi led the United Nations during some turbulent times. After office, he dedicated his life to justice and democracy. And very much justice for victims of violence and persecution in Africa and elsewhere. He cared a lot also about democracy in Africa and uh, the integrity of African election. We really appreciate that. There has been no sign of any degree of retirement whatsoever. He is chairman of the elders. He sits on the board of directors of the United Nations Foundation. He chairs the Africa Progress Panel. He's on the board of directors of the Global Center for Pluralism. He has developed, created, and leads his own foundation. We mourn the loss of a great statesman, a committed internationalist, and a compassionate human being. But we remain determined to advance Kofi Annan's vision for a fairer, more peaceful world. Such was his wish, and such is our mission. He intended that the Foundation continue his work. Our task now is to build on his extraordinary legacy and the values and principles which he upheld. It now remains for me to announce the first ever winner of the Mo Ibrahim Prize for achievement in African leadership. The winner is a former president of Mozambique, Joachim Alberto Chisano. In the foundation, Kofi led the prize committee and uh, he led down the foundation of its credibility and integrity. And for that, we are really grateful. What I admired most about Kofi was his 
unruffled approach, his thoughtful approach to issues, and his sense of humor, who is really cool. We must allow African youth to lead us into the future with enlightened modernity rooted in African values. Young people have lots of knowledge, know a lot about technology. You have the capacity to do it. Mr. Anand's mission and vision for Africa and for the world obviously inspired so many young Africans. He opened my eyes for the first time to how far and promising the way could be for Africans. My very first memories of the United Nations were those that included a person of color, an African. He inspired me growing up to be interested in serving not only my country, but also Africa as a whole. It's amazing to think that me, an African, like he would have been at my age, can make all the change that we, we hope to make. That you can join a huge global organization and rise to the top and lead it, and lead it successfully. Kofiene é um líder que deixa legados para as Nações Unidas e também para o mundo inteiro. He was a person full of compassion and empathy for all kind of people, irrespective of their age, race, or social status. Kofi Annan nous a laissé comme héritage le courage. Le courage de croire que c'est possible, de défendre nos convictions, et de, de prôner la paix, la paix et l'égalité partout dans le monde. He speaks about the importance to act that each tomorrow find us farther than today. And this is something that I've been living with because I think that it is important that each one of us do everything in their capacity to ensure that tomorrow is a better day. Je suis reconnaissante à Kofi Annan pour nous avoir permis d'avoir cette capacité d'oser rêver et d'oser inventer notre avenir. He learned and he grew and he reached out where necessary. And I think we owe a lot to him and we should strive to ensure that we continue what he started.